Coming up on Hands On Tech, it is time to talk about a cost-effective outdoor camera that actually rocks. Hands On Tech is brought to you from Twit's LastPass Studios. Using the same password everywhere is a security nightmare waiting to happen. LastPass easily creates unique passwords for every site. Visit lastpass.com slash twit. This is Twit. This is a new product from Wise. It is the Wise Cam Outdoor that involves both a waterproof camera that is remote, uh, so no wires or anything like that. Remote, whoops, it's got a magnet Ooh, on the bottom. Got... Yeah, it's remote powered and lets you connect it you know, to uh, a wall or, or somewhere, and then you can set it up that way. And it comes with a little device that you hook up directly to your router. So it it's meant to have this hub that basically connects to different wise cameras that you have set up around your home. And that way you don't have to have this, uh, a bunch of Wi-Fi devices on your network. So it has its own little radio signal that it's sending around to communicate with your devices and you can have it outside and then you just bring it in. I think it's what, once every six months or something like that to charge. Um, it's 1080p live stream and recording, which is awesome. Um, works in all sorts of different uh, configurations. And you can have it indoor or outdoor, of course. Uh, it's got IR lights, so you can see it at night, um, which is, is nice. Whenever the, the sun goes down, it switches on those IR lights. And with motion detection... Uh, which is passive infrared motion detection plus um, the stuff that we talked about before for WISE, which is that person detection technology. Um, you can get four cameras per one base station. And so you can connect all of those. And the, the starter bundle is just forty nine ninety nine for the starter bundle. Yeah. Um, that's a really good price. And then after that, uh, thirty nine ninety nine for each camera that you add to the setup. It's really I'm I'm really impressed with this device because you know I was talking before about the Eve Cam feeling a little light and sort of um, just didn't have much substance to it. This does. This has this. I mean, if I was hit with this, it would hurt a little bit. <laughs> yeah. quite a bit. It's it's strong. Um, it has this nice sort of. Uh, almost a satin touch kind of finish to it. Uh, mm. It's got a little thread on the bottom if you did want to use... Well, I guess I probably shouldn't show all that because it's got the MAC address and stuff. Um, <laughs> it's, got a, it's got a thread on the bottom so that you could connect it to, you know, a, a regular camera tripod system. Um, and then, like I said, it comes with this magnetic mount. So you fasten this onto a surface and then you just magnetically put it on there and the camera's ready to go. Um all sorts of configurations. You can put an SD card within the actual camera itself, uh, which is nice. And then uh, for, for recording, and then you can also put an SD cam or an SD card in the base station so that all of the cameras can sync to that base station and be able to, you know, save the memory there. So put a big old whopping uh, micro SD card in the base station and then the cameras that are all set up around the place uh, can just use that. And then what's nice is after you do primary setup from that point on, you just hit the sync button on the base station and the sync button on any new camera that you add. And then it does all of the work for you. So there's not any, you know, uh, horrible pairing process that you have to do, uh, after that first time. And the pairing process wasn't that bad anyway, but it is nice that, you know, you do it once and then it's pretty much super simple to do from that point on. I've been impressed with the camera quality so far. It's got two way audio, so you can use it to communicate, uh, you know, if it's going to be your sort of package checker type device, yeah. And you can communicate with your delivery person very easily. And yeah, uh, given that it's wireless, that is quite nice because it means that you don't have to, um, you know, you can kind of put it wherever you want it as long as you can get it back down so that you can charge it, which I think is great. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Uh, it also has this interesting feature that is called travel mode. And with travel mode, you can set it up somewhere 
And it doesn't need a Wi-Fi connection. It doesn't need any online stuff. It just does offline video recording. So hmm. you can, you know, if you're staying in a hotel or if you're going uh, backpacking in the Rockies is their example, then you, know, you might want to set it up in your hotel room. That way you don't need to connect to the hotel Wi-Fi or anything like that, but you can just check in later to see if, you know, everything's how you expect it to be in your hotel room. Uh, and then setting it down somewhere where you can see squirrels feeding or, you know, out in the wild blue yonder, uh, seeing a deer go by or something. There are just multiple options with the, um, offline video record recording. So it can work kind of as a, a main system. And it doesn't just work with the wise cam outdoor itself. It also works with the base station. So you can have multiple cameras connected to that base station, all doing offline video recording. So you can wow. set up a whole scene. It's very cool. I think uh, I've that never heard of that. Yeah. That uh, the, what do they call it? Travel mode. I've never really heard of that idea before so that was a hmm. cool thing to see that they that's offered like a, that as well that's how ultimate vlogging like <laughs> set yeah. up one in every corner and then you just like walk in because i'm interested i want to get i do think i want to have like a thing in the corner just because i do live streams and i don't know it would be kind of interesting sometimes i'm all i'm all about that truman show life sometimes i mean except for <laughs> i have the choice to turn them off um so that's a big part but <laughs> right, i think it's right. pretty interesting and why stuff is so cheap like yeah. i think the home kit well, part is obviously gets me a little bit not having that but uh, i want i, I was like cheap. i gotta get it's, them it's to expensive it's yes good point um but maybe i should tweet at them and be like you guys should add shortcuts because that's a good way for can't send you data out but you could pull it as you need or something like that. So Absolutely. that is always the, the route around when you're trying to go the low cost route for building these products. But this is cool. Nice. I think, ah, man, I want like there, the, the camping time lapse is a great example of it's, I mean, these are so affordable that you could just like have one and stick it in the tree and you could have two or something like that. That's kind of, it's kind of cool. Want more Twit? Well, check out Smart Tech today. It's at twit.tv slash STT. It's the show where Matthew Casanelli and I cover everything there is to know about smart tech. It's automation. It's connected devices. It's smart home. It's all those goodies and so much more. We get the news. We get the latest devices. We do reviews. Everything. You got to check it out. Twit.tv slash STT for Smart Tech today. Keep up with all the hottest tech news and gadgets. Visit twit.tv. There you'll be able to find and subscribe to all our tech shows. Thanks for watching Hands On Tech.